Good morning, dear friends. Here we are together to start our day in connection with the good spirits, enveloped in vibrations of love and kindness. To start our day today, this is a message from the book Child of God by the Spirit, Joanna de Angelis Frun, The Mediumship of Divaldo Franco. This is chapter or message 16 that Joanna entitled Your Weariness. She says, to be tired of life is a serious problem. Weariness is not, a, is not caused by hard work or unrest, but, but from a sick state of mind. It's usually a mixture of silent revolt, dissatisfaction and ill will and hampers your evolution. Remove the shroud of unhappiness that afflicts you. Assume control of your aspirations and restore your spiritual strength. Change the rhythm of your activities and give yourself a new motivation. Life is always forcing you into changes that foster your spiritual growth. Sometimes because you lack discernment, you may adopt an attitude which generates unpleasant consequences. Nevertheless, such an outcome may work on your behalf because you shake it out of the shake you out of the apathy which you, you might have been burdening your mind. Every good action performed conveys a particular stimulus that renovates and pacifies those who give themselves up to its to it enthusiastically from moment to moment, step by step, working and serving, you will feel rested and a good disposition will help you act prudently and wisely. Keep on making constant changes in your life for they will push you forward and create a more objective and more dynamic state of mind which will help you act wisely. Meet every new day with a cheerful disposition, knowing that you can be a useful tool to carry out the work of God. God bestowed li limitless resources on you so that you may reach your goal. If you only will release yourself from the unhealthy mood you call weariness. Hmm. Interesting call to feel enthusiastic about life. So let's take a moment to start a day praying. I'm going to invite you to close your eyes if it's safe for you to do so and for you to repeat the words of the prayer in your mind so we can pray together, shall we? Dear Mother, Father God, Thank you for one more day in this life. Thank you for granting us the opportunity of waking up today. Thank you, dear God, for everything that you give us, for all the resources we have at hand, and for the help that we receive from our spirit guides and spirit friends and the help that you send in the form of our incarnate friends. This morning, dear God, we pray that we are able to feel your love and your presence in our lives, that we are strong to continue to act towards the good of all. We pray, dear God, for inspiration in our lives, so that we can seek actions, attitudes, feelings, ideas, and thoughts that are of a good nature and that are able with our hands, with our words, with our minds and souls to serve the brothers and sisters in need all around us. Dear God, we pray for your protection as we go throughout our day for the inspiration to connect with you, mindful that we are children of God, and that in each and every good thought, good feeling, 
good idea and action, you will bestow upon us the resources that we need to overcome any difficulties and to fulfill the task at hand. Please protect us. Please allow us the presence of our guardian angels with us, inspiring us towards the good. And with your permission and your guidance, we begin our day today. And so be it. Dear friends, what a blessing to be with you. And I hope that today you have a blessed day inspired by the good spirits towards the good. And God willing, I'll be back with you with another prayer. Until then, many, many blessings.